Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and today I was going to show you three different types of log files. First of all we will check on the firewall log, then we will check on the audit log and we will also check on the messages log. And I will show you a few things that you can find in these logs and um, why it's important to know all three of them. So first of all, let's start with the normal firewall log. So let's generate some traffic and easiest to do, well, just go to Google. So Google and then we can do to Facebook and Facebook will actually be blocked or hopefully it will be blocked uh, and it is. And let's go to YouTube as well and YouTube should be working and it is. And of course you should subscribe to my channel. So just find me and click subscribe. So let's see in the firewall log if we can see any of this traffic. So then we need to go to logs and monitor and you press on this little plus sign and here you see the logs. And I have already been in here so let's see if we have any filters or whatnot. And first of all we need to find our own IP address of our client if we want to filter on something specific. And here we have our IP address so let's just copy and paste. And we can see here that we have a few uh, logs, but it doesn't really say anything. We see here drop Facebook and we see web surfing. It's possible to just click on one of these and get up some more traffic logs or some more information. So more or less you can see here that the traffic is netted behind this IP address and this is due to HideNet. If you want to see this explicitly or why it is like that, you can just go to NAT rule number seven. If you want to see which rule this is actually hitting, well, then you can either press, press match rule and you will see it. And one thing that can be important to notice or just be aware of is that you see here this policy section and you see the policy date. That's the time when this policy was actually installed on the gateway. So if you just recently have done a change and the traffic is coming too fast, maybe it's hitting the old policy. So this is nice to be aware of, this, um, this date and, uh, and time and which uh, policy name it's actually hitting. Because you can have multiple firewalls and we didn't specify what firewall we're actually looking for. We can see that this is gateway number one, but within Checkpoint you can have multiple firewalls on the same management station. So if you want to see like which rule did this actually hit, well then you can press on match rule. And here you see that it hit rule 6 and it's an inline layer for web surfing. And the rule that it actually did hit where the traffic actually passed was 6.3. So if you press on 6.3, we will be prompted how this, uh, this traffic actually look. So this was a generic 443. And if we want to see like for example all the Facebook or YouTube that we actually did go to, well just click cancel here, go back to logs and monitor. Then you can do blade and you can do application control. Here you can see all the applications that we actually did visit. So we did visit Facebook two times and we did visit YouTube. So they are listed under application name. And if we double click on here, we can see like, well, we can see some like traffic that was actually going through this, uh, this section. I'm not sure if this is actually correct. Well, at least you get the feeling on how much uh, bandwidth it's actually using. And you can see some information regarding the application. In this case, it's YouTube and uh, you can see an application description. And what more you can do? Well, you can actually see how long was this specific session. And uh, in our case, it was less than one minute. I'm also not sure if this is 100% accurate, but um, well, you at least get the feeling on uh, if someone is spending way too long on uh, social media or YouTube. If they're seeing YouTube, well, if they're looking on my channel, then it's no problem. That was the basic of the firewall log. You can do a lot of filters. So you can do, for example, 
port 443. Sorry. I need this one. And you can see all the web traffic. And of course you can do like, you can press on something and you can right click and you can do and not. And it will filter this one away and it will show everything else. So this is really powerful and you can see like the top destination, top services and so on. And of course the top services in this case, well, it should be only HTTPS. I don't know if you're aware of this, but if you try to export something from here, like file and then export to CSV, well, the issue with this is that it will only export what is actually visible on the, on these lines. So in this case, it will show 100 results. It will not even show the 547 results. If you want to do an export of all the traffic from a specific host, well, then you should go to smart view. And smart view is like an, um, So you need to make sure to go to HTTPS and then you just do slash smart view and you do this to your management station. So advanced and then just continue and you do your normal login. And here you can see the same. So here you have the logs as well. But in this, um, this view, if we make it a bit bigger, you can still have all the filters and like uh, what type of application, what uh, original it is, what source is the top and so on. And you can extend this as well and you see a bit more information regarding that specific log. But the nice thing here is that you can actually do, so if we filter on our, our, on our client, we can do options and we can do export to Excel. And here we can pick how many logs do we actually want to export. So if we export up to 1 million logs and we can take all columns instead of all visible. If it's all visible, you only get what is actually already presented here, but there are more. So if we press OK here, then it will start the job. And if you want to see this job and where it's actually located, you can go to the plus and then you can do uh, I think it's here, archive, under task and archive. And here we have the log and we can download this one. And here we get an X, um, a CSV file. I don't know if I have Excel on this one. So let's open it in uh, WordPad. Ah, that didn't work. So, Let's move that file to my normal computer. So it's under uh, downloads here. And we copy that one and we put it into my regular PC. So let's open this one up. And here you can see all. This is all the logs from that specific source. And you see there is a lot more tabs than was actually visible. And you can of course filter here as well, because we didn't put in any filters when we did the, the export. But uh, this is just to show you, there is um, a lot of cool stuff that you can actually do. And you see here that it's the NAT source address. Well, maybe we need to find somewhere how to find a real address. So here's the source on column Y. Well, this is how you export a large number of rules. You can do 1 million lines at a time. So that was both smart view and uh, the normal logs. So you get two for one there. And secondly, we want to check, well, that's the audit log. So if we do a change in the policy, so for example, we remove Netflix media and we also remove uh, media streams from this line. And we just do publish. And we do install policy. 
Okay, so the policy is installed. So if you now want to revert this, well, you can do like revision control. But I just wanted to show you where you can actually see this, where something was changed. So you go to logs and monitor. And then you press the plus sign. And you see here audit logs. So double click on that one. So what did we actually do here? Well, we did log in to the gateway here, 1212. And we did modify a rule. So if we double click on this one, we can see here what was actually modified. And we see here that the service and application that was removed was media streams and Netflix streaming. So that's correct. And the layer was web surfing from clients. And the policy name, we don't have any. But here you see that this was what actually happened. So we did remove services from a specific line. And you can see which uh, administrator it was. I'm logged in as admin. That's admin here. And you can see what time it was and so on. Um, this can be a bit tricky if you do a lot of changes. So within normal clusters, you can use revision control to revert what you want to do. But if you just want to like track and audit what you have actually done, this can be a good way. There is uh, better options with external tools or, or even smart console extensions. But uh, for this, um, I just press cancel here. And we see that the, um, it was published. So the session was published and one object was changed. And we see that we also did install the policy. What I normally use the audit log is to, to check like policy installation and so on. When what is actually done, did something break after policy installation? And if something did break after the policy installation, well, then you can check between these two lines, between the installed policies. Well, then you can check what, what was changed and maybe you can revert it. So that was the audit log. And the last log that we are going to check on, that's the messages log. And to do that, we need to do some, uh, we need to destroy a little bit things. So for example, we take this gateway and we do, um, we do settings on this one. And let's remove an interface. Well, let's remove this one. So disconnect this one. So let's see what happens. So if you go back into the Windows 10 machine, so we log into secure CRT. So we go to secure CRT that we have here. And we go to the gateway and that should be the gateway. And we log in. And we go to expert. Then there is a file called messages. And the easiest way to do this, if you just want to check the last uh, lines, then you can do tail minus 10 for 10 lines and then you do the path where it actually is so the path is uh, var slash log slash messages so here we see we have done a change here so we see that uh, at this time the link went down and the cluster did go active to active with an exclamation mark because this interface was disconnected or down. And then it did go a state change from active to down. And the reason that one of the interfaces is down or disconnected. Then we also see that there was a standby to active change, meaning we did change the cluster members like what is activated. So messages file, you can see all the physical things that happens on the gateway. You cannot see like the firewall logs or anything like that. You cannot see audit logs. So the three different logs that is really important to check on is the firewall logs where you see all the traffic. Then you have the audit log where you see all the changes. And then you see the messages 
that's all the changes that happen to like a physical box. And uh, just as a bonus, well, there is a command to check like which type of policy is installed and so on. Then you can do like this one. You can do cp stat and then space firewall. Here you can see the installation time of the specific policy and the name of the policy. You can also see like uh, some interface stats. And do you remember where we actually see the, the state of the cluster? Well, that's cph probe state. So here we see that the gateway 1 is down and um, the gateway 2 is active. And the reason for this is that Ethernet 3 was disconnected, linked down. And just to show you, you can see a lot more in this var log messages file. So you can do like uh, cat var log and then messages. And you see all. And if you just do like that, it's a lot harder. So you need to learn to do grep. So you can do pipe grep and you can filter on like down down and it will show you everything that has down within the, the line and you see here it actually fitted for download so if you, if you use the grep command you can find quite nice things so if you already know like you are looking for ethernet 3 well then you can do grep ethernet 3 and you can see all the status where Ethernet 3 is included or involved. And this is the part. Well, I will do clear, and I will do page up, and I will just do grep Ethernet 3. So you will see everything that is related to Ethernet 3 uh, if you do the grep commands. If you just want to see the last messages in this uh, file, well, then it's the tail minus and then the uh, line number so let's say 20 and then var slash log slash messages and you see the last 20 lines and um, you can actually see the policy installation here as well so you see here that the policy installation was done so that's quite nice so um, var log slash messages is really important to uh, to be aware of and you can find a lot of information and if you troubleshooting like why in a, um, a cluster is failing over or so this can be the file that you should check in and i think that's it for this video if you want to see a more detailed in depth on each of these log files please comment below and um, maybe we can do that later Thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel, like and share if you find this useful and I hope to see you in the next one, take care.